Ford F-150 sales are down around 10% right now. So what's going on? Interest rates are up, prices are up, you know, things are getting tight out there. It's not like it was the last few years. Uh, but a big reason, 100%, a lot of these are not V8s. You know, that, that's a big one too. If you're buying a full-size truck, you probably want to get a V8. And then something else is the price. And we'll get into that in just a second. Uh, which some of these I'm actually surprised at. I mean, would you rather pay 50K for F-150 or 50K for the new Tacoma? Um, and I'm not a Ford fan. I never have been. I've always been more of a Toyota fan or really a Chevy fan, but uh, definitely not a Ford fan. Let me just show you a couple here. Let's let's just pick one randomly. I see here. 63,000. You're getting a... Uh, the 3.5 liter EcoBoost. This dealer adds the, I still wouldn't pay it, but this, the bed liner and the window tent for seven, for $800, it's not terrible, but uh, I'm not paying it. So, I mean, and it probably costs a dealership maybe 200, 300, something like that. Um, but I'm not gonna pay that additional add-on. You can just take it off, which obviously you can't take bed liner off, but still, I mean, I'm just not gonna, not gonna pay it. But uh, overall, it, it is a pretty clean truck. Um, obviously being brand new, but let, let's look at this one real quick. Let's see if we can get a 5.0, see how much we're getting up to. Here we go, 5.0, 61. So I got to give it to Ford. Um, and, and again, I'm not a big Ford fan. Let me let me say that again. I'm not a big Ford fan, but 61,000, at least you're getting a V8. Uh, but still, it's it's obviously not selling. It's sitting here and uh, we're not even gonna get in. You'll see in a second what their big problem is because they have some cars that are about to have birthdays on the lot. So whenever you have a car that's gonna have a birthday, there's a little bit of a problem there. But overall, just a line full of them. And I don't know what Ford was thinking when they got out of the sedan business. Uh, like those are your customers in the future that'll buy these trucks that you know maybe they wanna get a cheaper car now they got out of that. I, I just can't justify that business decision, um, even though it probably did increase profits short term, uh, but in the long term, it's gonna hurt them, you know, and it's unfortunate, but it, it kind of is what it is. And I mean, there we go, 70,000. That's a lot of money for a pickup truck. It is leather and everything, so it is nice, but still $70,000 with the interest rates how they are now, that's a lot of money. But let me show you something that might be their bigger issue on the car lot right now. As everyone kind of knows, the EVs with Ford have been quite, uh, quite a problem when it comes to making profit. They haven't made any profit. That's the problem. And uh, they're actually losing over $100,000 per EV right now. So it's kind of crazy <clears throat> that they even still make them, but uh, they will continue to do so. And Right now with the, obviously the number one competitor being Tesla, you would rather get a Tesla over a Ford when it comes to EV all day. Uh, but let's look at one of these, the 2023. So already a year old, still on the car lot. Let's see, 58. And I remember whenever they were trying to charge markups for these, times have changed, times have changed. Yeah, so just a whole bunch of these brand new Lightning. So if you want a Lightning, they got them in stock. That's for sure. Lightning or the new Mustang. But uh, yeah, it's, people don't want them, you know, and the charging network, there's a lot of issues, which I believe Ford's joining. You can, you can get like the adapter for Tesla if they're still doing that. But uh, there's just been a lot of issues with the Ford Lightnings. And I've never personally been a big Ford fan. I've always been more on the Chevy side or on the Toyota side for sure. But with Toyota going to the, the turbo and the new Tacoma, it's unfortunate as well. So we just have to, you know, be strong with our wallets. Why would you get a full size truck, not in a V8? You know, it just doesn't make sense to me personally, but I know a lot of people are changing their ways and even Chevy's four cylinder, it's, it's doing okay. I got to give it to them. But I just couldn't do it personally, but yeah. Thank you for checking out the channel. You have a great day.